from stainless steel plates engraved with names and dates of old weddings. From my father's forbidden fountain pen and my mother's heavy handbag. I'm from the streets of Bombay, tucked away in a triangulation of a mosque, a church, and a temple. From what we call a colony, a remnants of the Brits perhaps, but I'm from freedom. And from the rusty shield bearers' branches guarding our gates whose small yellow flowers rained on us before the monsoons hit. And from Kichiri and Dahiwandi on Sundays, and watching the last over of the cricket match instead of being on time. From my bar's long plait of once black hair, and my dadu's leather spectacles wall pouch. And from cleaning out drawers and cupboards to cure boredom, hiding stashes of red Lindor chocolate in the fridge, and finishing the newspaper's anagrams in three seconds. And from don't cut your nails at night and don't leave chop balls overturned. And the I, Malik Terebunda home my mom plays in the car every morning. And from sitting on the six-seater swing in the dark singing Lincoln Park songs in a house with a Wi-Fi password that's 20 characters long with posters I stuck on the wall and lyrics I wrote on the bathroom tiles. And from Surat and Nandeva and Sinkeda and Onyo and Gopabri and Mumra and Rokpa and Hanava and Vali and peacock earrings and pearl rings and silk saris. From my nani, my namesake, whose symbol I have tattooed on my wrist. A lotus emerging from murky waters, blooming despite adversity. The pictures of my father holding me in his arms, my brother carrying me in his arms, my arms reaching out to catch a red balloon floating away. Like my thoughts are reaching out to find memories that seem so far, trying to forget the time I forgot a word of my language I used every day, trying to remember that I will return soon. Because though the rain and the wind and the storm tore down the rusty shield bearer tree last monsoon, and the gate swings lonely, crunches will reach out to me again. And in their arms, I will be home.